Strictly Strings, Book 2, page 17, learning the E harmonic minor scale and dotted 8th, 16th notes. What's important about the E harmonic minor scale is that this is in the harmonic form. Typically, when we play a major scale, it has a relative minor, which is known as the natural minor. That means if you were to play a C major scale, the relative minor would be A minor and it includes all the same notes. What's special about the E harmonic minor scale is that the seventh note is raised a half step. So typically we would play a G major scale and have an E natural minor scale. And in this version, the, the seventh note, the seventh scale degree is raised. So if you see at the top of the page, it follows a series of eighth notes in a row that follow this pattern with a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, and then a one and a half step, which gives it its special sound. In addition to that, we will have a new tempo on Dantino and dotted eighth, sixteenth rhythms, which there's an example that shows a clear one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. First for exercise one, it allows you to stretch your finger to practice the D sharps. And then number two is the E harmonic minor scale. First two. to E harmonic minor scale. One, two, three, four. choose the top or bottom note if two notes are printed. Take it two times, maybe the first time slow, second time fast. And if you note, there are some fermatas where you can hold out that note a little longer if you want to make sure it's in tune with your electronic tuner. Number three, Ancient Air. The French folk song is a little slower than Andantino and asks you to use the whole bow. Be mindful of any finger markings for fourth finger and up arrows and low twos or twos. There are a lot of tricks in E minor with C's being natural and D's being sharp. helps you to practice dotted um, eighth and sixteenth notes. So you can practice by even starting with the B part first and practicing the accented parts to show where the strong beats are. For example, it would go like this. One E and a two E and a.
notice I did the top bowing the first time and the bottom bowing the second time. And you could do this in a round where you start a measure later than me. And you can also play the opposite line alongside me. Final song, number five, O Tannenbaum, German folk song, otherwise known as O Christmas Tree. In G major, three, four time with a pickup note. Note the ritardando at the end and the fermata and other skills such as the slurred staccato. One, two, three, one, two. Monkey and a two. Monkey and a two and three.